Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, I'm sure you have seen the thumbnail. I'm very, very excited and anxious for today's episode because we are going to have another true unboxing and this time, oh my god, so we are going to have a Louis Vuitton bag unboxing. Yes, I'm so excited to be sharing and would be revealing what I purchased here from LV. So guys, I'm inviting you to relax and stay tuned until the end of our episode. Hi guys, Ron here, Smoking Budgetary and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about latest news about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls, and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. Guys, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here. You are going to see this one. So kindly click on this so you can easily subscribe. And of course, be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please do like and share this video. And I'm inviting you guys to please follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Premier52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright guys, I would just like to share a little bit short story before we do the unboxing. So I purchased this one, Pre-Love, from the Japanese consignment store and it has just arrived a couple of days ago. I just kept it hidden and I'm so excited to be sharing everything to you. So honestly guys, technically I wasn't supposed to buy this anymore when I saw this one because we are going to travel abroad early February and this is one of the bags actually that is part of my luxury wish list for 2024 and I am planning to hunt this one in person however when I saw this seller from Japan posted this one and it's a very good deal so I just couldn't say no to this one and I instantly I said yes because again I feel that it is going to be a great steal in addition to my bag collection but then again guys since this is a true unboxing aside from excitement I'm really anxious what the bag would look like because of course you are only going to see these pre-love bags uh, via photos you haven't seen them in person yet so i just transferred everything on the paper bag so the paper bag did not come with it came with the box but are you ready so let's do the unboxing three two one here she is so let me just all right so are you ready the true reveal three Two, one. <gasps> oh my god. Ooh. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay, guys, so one moment. I'm just checking again. This is the first time that I'm seeing everything here. Okay. That is, wow. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm a little bit stunned, guys. I'm so sorry. So, you know, true unboxing. One moment. So I'm just checking everything here. Alright, guys. I'm a little bit sorry. I have to pause the video a little bit because I just need to check this a, a little bit closer. So, guys, what I got is one of my... Wish list for 2024. It is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM. Yes. So again, the material is the noir or the black epi leather as you can see here. So here is the front as you can see. I'm so happy. So if I'm not mistaken, so this is a pre-love. Um, actually, this is a vintage Louis Vuitton Alma PM and the manufacturer date, if I remember it correctly, it's around 1996. So she is almost 30 years old, but guys, just look at her. Can you believe that this bag is almost 30 years old? Yes, I'm so happy actually, to be honest. That's the reason why I paused it a little bit because I just wanted to closely inspect the bag. Um, what are the flaws? As you can see, so this is the front of the bag, guys. So with the front, so it, the um, vintage bag would not come with the clochette, but it would come also with the Louis Vuitton stamping over here. So as you can see, the hardware is gold. So we have the yellow gold Louis Vuitton zippers over here. And of course, this is the back. So the back, the back is also pretty good. So I think um, the corner wear of this one, so there are a little bit corner wear. So like for example, this. And as you can see at the bottom part, so this is where we could see perhaps the 
wear and tear of the bag. It's almost the same as my Louis Vuitton Papillon bag, but that doesn't bother me at all because as you know, since that is already the bottom part of the bag, no one would be able to tell that there are a little bit scuffings or corner wears or wear and tear, but that is okay. And once we open the bag, as you can see here, so I'm just opening. So she has this very beautiful gray suede-like interior and she has one slip pocket and this is where we could locate the manufacturer date. As you can see, so I'm so happy also that this bag doesn't have any bad odor or smell since she is almost 30 years old. So as you can see, I'm so happy with this purchase. So let us do a little bit of comparison with the bags that I currently have. So one moment, let me just close this one. Alright, so guys, maybe you are going to ask me why did I purchase a Louis Vuitton Alma PM where I already have my Alma BB over here. So here is a quick comparison. So the Alma BB, so this is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB, my LV World Tour. And this is my Louis Vuitton Alma PM. Don't they look so gorgeous? So guys, the reason why this is still part of my 2024 luxury wish list is because um, I have discovered for myself that yes, I'm very happy with my Alma BB, but there would be times that on, you know, for example, it is a whole day event, I am carrying so, so, so many stuff with me. And I feel that the Alma BB, she needs to be a little bit bigger because one of my pet peeves, I really hate it. If, for example, if I would be carrying this one and I would be stopping everything here, that the zippers are going to bend or would wobble. I don't like the look of the Alma BB if that happens, like the wobbly zippers. No, that's not me. So I was thinking what bag would, would I want that would carry all the essentials that I need and of course Alma PM is the answer and of course uh, as mentioned earlier maybe I have already published the bags that I will not be purchasing in 2024 what is included is I would no longer be adding the monogram canvas of Louis Vuitton because I feel I already have a fail of my monogram canvas and currently I am in love with the luxury pieces the quiet luxury bags and this definitely fit the bill as you can see here even though i'm holding it like this you are not going to know so this is an if you know you know type of bag if you are not familiar that this is a louis vuitton bag then definitely you would not know that this is a luxury bag also guys i feel that i got very lucky with this bag because aside from the wobbly zippers that normally the vintage louis vuitton alma would have we are going to see if for example Example, they don't have good shape anymore if you're going to look at like this maybe one side would be lopsided or would be a little bit bent so with this one when I saw this on the photo that is one of the reason why I said yes is because as you can see here she still has very good structure and as you can see just again as mentioned earlier she doesn't even look like a 30 year old bag so I, I've already compared her with the Alma BB now let us compare her with another vintage Louis Vuitton Papillon bags, I think they are of the same manufacturer date if I'm not mistaken. This Louis Vuitton Papillon bag was also manufactured 1996. As you can see, both of them are made of the very beautiful Louis Vuitton Epi Noir material as you can see here. And the leather pieces are the very beautiful smooth leather as you can see. So that is what it looks like. I also want to make one comparison. So this is not Louis Vuitton bag but this is also one of the reasons why I wanted to purchase this is because I, as you know, I have my Prada Promenade bag. So this Promenade bag, this is like the Alma version of Prada and I so love this one. Unfortunately, I'm not using this as much but I was thinking to myself, if I would be purchasing a bag this size, then definitely I could use her as a bag charm or I could carry them as a double bag fashion style so i'm going to put maybe some photos and videos here so as you can see so also guys i am guessing that the nano louis vuitton alma is of the same size so here they are what do you think there right and last comparison would be my Ferragamo Wanda bag. So I was mentioning previously that this is 32 centimeters. So I'm guessing that they're almost the same size as you could see. This is still a little bit bigger as you could see there. So definitely as you, you would notice 
I could fit so much more in this bag. Alright guys, so I did a little bit of measurement. So I was correct. So the length of this one from here to here, that would be 32 centimeters. And of course, the depth from here to here, it would be 17 centimeters. So that is pretty wide. And then the height of this one from here, going down here, that is... 25 centimeters as you can see she is very spacious and guys as you know um this did not come with uh the leather shoulder strap and i think if you're going to purchase the alma pm at um, any louis vuitton store it would no longer purchase with the shoulder strap but the good news is with the alma pm she still comes with the d-rings like this so if you have any straps on your bag collection definitely you could attach any strap so you could carry her as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. So definitely there are multiple ways you could carry this one. I would love to carry this as a top handle. As you can see, I feel that it would be so chic. You could carry her on the crook of your arm like this. And of course, guys, I have a strap over here. So this is not a Louis Vuitton strap, but let me just attach it really quickly because this is how I am imagining. Oh my God, it fits so nice. This is how I am imagining that I would be carrying the Louis Vuitton Alma PM. Wow! Oh, I have this very beautiful chain strap over here with almost champagne-like gold hardware, and she has this leather strap or part, so it would not so it would not hurt my shoulders. As you can see here, again, guys, I'm going to put some mod shots. But if, for example, as you can see, it's a little bit big. Sorry, guys, I'm wearing. Um, short pants while filming this so I'm just going to put some clips over here so as you can see so that's how it's going to look like and that's how I am imagining to carry this bag and guys also since we're on the topic of how we are going to carry this this is one of my I've been dreaming of this um, to be carrying it around uh, when I have purchased this Louis Vuitton Alma PM. So again, I have this baby from my Louis Vuitton Papillon bag made of epi leather. So let me try to see how it would look like if I would be carrying it together like this. <gasps> oh my God, what do you think guys? Do you think that is good? Oh wow, it looks cute, right? So she would have an instant sister or baby whenever I would be carrying her like this. Let's try more attachments, then let's try to move on. Alright, so guys, I have borrowed the key clochette from my Louis Vuitton Alma B because I was planning to purchase this one, a genuine leather piece. So I'm going to purchase and attach it here. Then what do you think if I'm going to attach this very beautiful puff over here she looks really cute and guys this strap here so this is definite a uh, definitely yes whenever i would be carrying my alma pm i would be carrying this strap so this one what do you think wow they look so cute so now let us do what fits inside i'm so excited for that one all right so this is what i wanted to try and this is one of the reason why i purchased this because i am imagining this could carry a lot with me so for example i have here maybe this is a 13 inches um, laptop over here so that wise you could definitely fit in as you can see but crosswise definitely it cannot even though you're going to put it diagonally like this so this is a no but that is okay so normally I don't bring my laptop with me so I was given a bag organizer as a gift by Arc Diary. I'm going to put a short video here of the unboxing so this is for my Alma BB so this is the um, gift that was sent to me here. So I'm planning to put this one on my Alma PM because I don't have any bag organizer but just to show you what I would be putting inside the bag organizer. So I have my 11 Pro. I have my 6S Plus which is comparable of course to the Pro Max. So I don't have my wallet here but I will be putting my Micro Feddy Baguette. So this could be a full size or a compact compact wallet i have my key clay so i'm going to put everything here there so everything is in there so it would fit in beautifully then of course i have my cosmetic kit it this would house my sample perfume my face powder lipstick wet tissue um, alcohol medicine everything would be here so it would be organized so as you can see 
and then of course there are a lot more space maybe I could if I'm planning to put in my planner let me see if how am I going to do that yes okay so I put the planner on one side and then of course this one would be on top and then there are actually more space um, definitely my small umbrella is not here but definitely I could fit it in here the umbrella for me is very important whenever I am going out now the test is would the zippers would be wobbly or wavy so as you can see here everything is on the back although yes it's a little bit heavy but guys just look at it it's not bulging out the zippers are still straight i'm so very happy with the content that i'm able to bring normally guys i don't bring my diary with me so but being able to put this planner it's very thick that is such a huge plus for me so just carrying the two items let me just see how heavy it would be there so that is very very manageable guys yes i'm so happy on the things that i'm able to put inside my louis vuitton alma pm what do you think all right guys hopefully you enjoyed today's episode my apologies if i'm all over the place with today's unboxing again since this is a true unboxing i wasn't really sure what to expect but hopefully i was able to share to you a little bit information about the louis vuitton alma pm guys as a conclusion would i recommend alma pm to even the vintage pieces definitely guys it would be a yes so i'm so happy that i was able to find the perfect louis vuitton alma pm guys i also failed to mention that i purchased this one christmas eve so i was thinking of two names for her i was thinking i would be naming her christmas or i'm thinking of naming her from tokyo since she came from japan kindly help me out kindly comment down below what do you think would be the best um, name for my louis vuitton alma pm i'm thinking christmas so it i would be reminded that i purchased this one christmas eve so back to my recommendation so if you're able to find you know the best price best quality louis vuitton alma pm and if you are like me if you feel that you have an alma bb but you feel you want a little bit more space then definitely go for the alma pm i feel for me this is going to be perfect the style is timeless it's very classic i'm sure everyone knows already that this bag originally was designed for coco chanel so this would never go out of style and i so love this style right now because as you know louis vuitton is pushing for the alma style especially with the pm and the gm style also guys they're also pushing with the uh, epi leather so epi leather i so love it's one of the material that i'm so in love with louis vuitton because right now i am so into the quiet luxury pieces and quiet luxury bags so definitely it is a big yes and for me i'm very happy that i'm able to cross this out on my luxury wish list 2024 so what do you think of my louis vuitton alma pm guys please do comment down below and you know the drill if you have stayed until this part of this episode kindly leave me a heart emoji i would really really appreciate it thank you so guys before we end our episode for today i'm inviting you all to please join our ever going fan there's a cute little icon here so please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family guys please do like and share this video i would really appreciate it and kindly follow me on my new instagram account that's at ramir 52 for daily updates and exciting tips coming from me a million thank you for staying with me in today's episode i'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out please stay safe i'm going to see each and every one of you soon bye <music>